When it comes to international wire transfers via SWIFT, understanding the MT202 cover payment flow and how it connects with the MT103 SWIFT message is essential for banking professionals, exporters, importers, and finance enthusiasts. MT103 is the standard SWIFT message used for customer credit transfers. It carries detailed payment information such as sender and receiver details, amount, currency, purpose of the transfer, and remittance instructions. It's a single payment message from one bank to another, specifically used when transferring funds to the ultimate beneficiary. On the other hand, MT202 is used for financial institution transfers. When paired with MT103, it becomes a part of the MT202 COVI or cover payment flow process. This cover payment involves two messages. The MT103 goes directly from the sender's bank to the beneficiary's bank, containing full payment details. Simultaneously, the MT202 COV is sent via intermediary or correspondent banks to transfer the actual funds. Why two messages? This structure ensures transparency and faster settlement while adhering to compliance requirements like anti-money laundering and know your customer policies. Okay, so here's how it works. The sender's bank issues an MT103 to the beneficiary's bank. At the same time, it sends an MT202 COV to an intermediary or correspondent bank. The intermediary then forwards the funds to the beneficiary's bank, enabling settlement. This system honestly speeds up global fund transfers, especially when banks don't have direct relationships. It ensures the movement of funds happens smoothly while maintaining all regulatory checks. Understanding MT202 cover payment flow is, you know, crucial for those involved in international banking, trade finance and foreign remittances. Whether you're a banker or a business handling cross-border payments, this knowledge ensures clarity in fund movement, reduces risk, and improves compliance.